Directory Watch is a very useful feature in Lynx that allows you to execute functionality based on changes in a directory. The service will monitor a specified directory and upon any changes in that directory, for example a file has been dropped into it, functionality will be executed. The Directory Watch has a few settings that you can configure. These include a filter, which allows you to filter for a specific file type, let's say something like Excel files only, whether or not subdirectory should be included, and the path. The path can be either static or dynamic, depending on what you have available. There are also different watch options. These include watch for changes, watch for creation, watch for deletions, and watch for renaming. These will each get their own event handler, and how they work is, for example, a file is created in the directory, then the created event handler will execute. Functionality must thus be built inside of the event handler to execute. One option is to build the functionality in a function outside of the event handler. For example, let's build a very simple function that will read the data from the file and import it into a database. I'm going to create a parameter that will contain the file path. Then to read the file, I'm going to use the text file read component in the file plugin. Let's set the file path to our parameter and then do all of the normal configuration in order to return the data. Then in order to insert this data into the database, I will use an execute SQL component underneath the data plugin. Here again, we will need to do our normal configuration. Here it is important to note that we could apply transformation to the data if we needed to. These transformations can be either applied inside of our SQL script or outside in a Lynx expression. Now that we've created our function, we can add it into our event handler. We will need to assign the parameter for the file path, and then we're ready to test. We can do this by using the debug mode. By debugging the directory watch, we will be able to see what happens on runtime. To test, I'm going to copy a very simple file into the directory that we're watching. And now we can see that the create event function fired. We can also see it execute and then look through the data that is being read by our text file read component and that is now being inserted into the database. Directory Watch is extremely useful to orchestrate file imports. To learn more, go to links.software.